For cheap Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out ufifa.com and use my discount code EGHD at the checkout to get 5% off your order. Hey what's up guys, Jack here, welcome back to another FIFA 15 squad build and what I'm going to be doing today is building a cheap team around Legend Fowler. So Fowler is actually one of the cheapest out of all the Legends but we're going to be building a very cheap team around him to see how he performs and if he's any good. So guys, as you can see, we have 22 games played, 16 goals and 11 assists with Robbie Fowler. This is a little bit misleading though because uh, EA have been struggling with their servers recently and it put on at least, you know, seven, maybe eight games where I hadn't even played in that game. It's just EA's putting it onto my record. It even gave me losses on my account for it. So he's actually got a good goal to game ratio. It would be about one for one. He's probably played about 16 games realistically. So guys, before we bring in the rest of the team, can we smash 1500 likes if we're not there yet? Drop a like on the video. Let's see if we can get there. Also, leave in the comments below which other legends I could do this with. It doesn't have to be cheap legends. It could be expensive legends or, you know, middle range legends. It doesn't matter how much legend is. Just let me know in the comments section below who you'd like me to do next so guys as you can see this is my defense and my goalkeeper of the team so left back we've got Shaw we've got Anua I think that's how you pronounce his name it looks like KSI and we've got Smalling and also Johnson and also obviously in goal we have Joe Hart so he cost me 4,800 coins he's 6 foot 5 tall 85 diving 86 reflexes 76 handling and 79 positioning centre back wise Anua has 83 pace he's actually 6 foot 2 tall very solid centre back medium medium work rates and uh, also Smalling very tall as well 6 foot 4 78 pace 80 defending and 74 physical stats again medium medium work rates and then in the right back position we have Johnson obviously I couldn't go for Walker because he's quite expensive and the whole idea of this is to build a really cheap team and uh, we've gone for Johnson so 79 pace 74 dribbling 75 defending and 74 physical stats as well as 70 passing in FIFA he's actually pretty decent and then in the left back position we have the non-rare player Luke Shaw 75 rated um, 82 pace 76 dribbling 75 defending 73 physical stats and 68 passing six foot one tall really solid player and and uh, for a non-rare, I think he's one of the you know expensive non-rare players. I think he goes for like a thousand coins or something like that. But I had him as first owner in my club. So guys, for the midfield of this team, I have gone for Ross Barkley and Jack Wilshere. So Jack Wilshere is naturally a centre mid. Again, first owner. And uh, you can see 37 games played. That's because I've played a few games with my first owner BPL team. Now he's got medium, medium work rates. 5 for 8, 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot, 76 pace, 84 dribbling. And he's got 77 physical stats and 81 passing and 69 shooting as well I think I don't think I missed that out but anyway he's got five goals eight assists and I reckon he played about you know 16 games and maybe like you know four goals and six assists or something like that pretty decent player and uh, again Ross Barkley over here we have um, 78 rated 79 pace 71 shooting 74 passing 80 dribbling and 74 physical stats definitely the better out of the two centimeters although you know Wilshire is still very good he's got five star weak foot three star skills six foot two He's got 11 goals and 10 assists. Now in the right mid position, we have gone for no one else other than Theo Walcott. 81 rated, 96 pace, 81 dribbling, 77 shooting, 75 passing and 64 physical stats. Freestyle skills, freestyle weak foot, high low work rates, 5 foot 9. This guy is an absolute animal and I've heard he plays as a striker very, very well. So I will be doing a squad builder with him as a striker very soon. But in this team, he was very effective. Although he didn't score that many goals to be honest. Only three goals but the amount of chances he created just from literally cutting open a defence. LTRT, head down dribbling. He was just insane. In the left mid position we have Jarvis here. Matt Jarvis, 87 pace, 78 dribbling, 67 shooting and 74 passing. This guy, the same as Theo Walcott, very effective. He has zero goals, only two assists. He's got five star weak foot. High low work rates, 5 foot 7, 3 star skills. Um, I'm surprised he didn't have any goals scored because he was very effective. The stats really don't do him justice. He's a great player. If you put him in your team, you'll see that he is a very effective player. So don't be worried about that. I think it's more of the formation. Now lastly, in the striker position, we have Danny Welbeck. 78 rated, 85 pace, 80 dribbling, 76 shooting, 71 passing and 75 physical stats. Non-rare player, cost me 1,400 coins. He got 13 goals. 13 assists in around about 15 16 games that I've played with this team's got high high work rates which can be annoying at times because he does put in a very hefty shift he does you know come back quite a lot he's six foot one tall and I think I said he got three star skills as well so very effective player 
Did he stand out? You know, did Robbie Fowler stand out in his team with Welbeck? Not really. He scored a few more goals, but um, I think that's just simply because I was trying to get him goals just because I knew that he was a legend. He's only 86 rated though. He's only 350,000 coins, which for a legend isn't that expensive. But overall, this team's pretty awesome. It was quite nice to use a full English team as well. First time I've actually used a full English team in this game. Now, if you're enjoying the video, drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to me as Echo Gaming HD, and we are going to move swiftly into the goals part of this video. So guys, getting into the goals part of this video, uh, you'll notice a lot of these goals are very, very simple. A lot of it is just simply passing a move in, um, literally starting off with either Wilshire or uh, Barkley in the centre mid position. Then it goes up to Welbeck, 1-2, LBY or something like that. It's very simple and a lot of the finishes are just simple finesses inside the boxes as well. Nothing too complicated. Uh, there was a couple of different goals but um, apart from that, just simply uh, Welbeck being a beast. Obviously Fowler being a clinical finisher, being a legend with pretty decent shooting stats and uh, a good finesse shot on him again here you see LBY now let's talk about just generally the team the formation and what I like about it what I don't like about it so obviously the 4-4-2 I really like the formation as a whole because it does get you wins but um, not all the positions get used the strikers are very important for the team the centre mids are very important for the team the left and right mids it's like they, they just don't get included very often in the attacks. It seems like they're just there, almost like uh, second left backs or second right backs, which is it's good for the win, but is it good for you know enjoying the game and putting, for example, I'll put Walcott in this team and I thought, yes, we're going to use him, we're going to abuse his pace. Uh, just didn't get an opportunity very often. You had to really go out your way to find Walcott. And uh, as you can see on the pitch right now, you know Walcott's right at the bottom of the screen. How is he going to get on, in on the attack? He's not. It's simple as that. So I do really like the formation, um, but it does it does cancel out the left and the right wing positions. So let's talk about then the centre mid. So we have Wilshire, we have Barkley, both excellent, both medium medium work rates. So they do uh, seem to find a good position on the pitch, whether they're defending or whether they're attack attacking. Sorry, um, they're both you know pretty pacey, 76 pace and 79 pace, both quite strong, 77 physical and 74 physical. And, uh, you know, good dribbling, good shooting. Ross Barkley with a five-star weak foot. So it's really good that when he does go forward, um, he doesn't have to really pick a side that he's going to finesse on. He can uh, go either side, which is really nice. And um, let's talk about Fowler. So Fowler was clinical. Welbeck was strong. And uh, he was a good finisher as well. But, uh, you know, Welbeck had 85 pace. Fowler had 83. Wasn't really much difference in the pace. So it uh, uh, wasn't really just not that much noticeable about that. Um, Centre-backs wise, we've got Anua and Smalling, both medium medium work rates just like the centre mids and uh, both very strong, obviously Anua being the 83 pace left back, uh, not left back, centre back, very strong, KSI look alike and uh, yeah, both six footers, uh, I think Smalling was six foot four wasn't he, so very strong in the air and uh, didn't really see much wrong with the team in that kind of aspect, again, right back Johnson, 79 pace, it wasn't a letdown, it wasn't amazing, obviously Walker would be better but this was a cheap team. Uh, Shaw, left back, one of the best left backs in the league, uh, especially as he's a non-rare player. And that's pretty much the team rounded up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on the video. Let's get 1,500 likes if we're not there yet. Drop a like. And we'll also make sure you are subscribed to me as Echo Gaming HD. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.